Hey everyone, it's Ayato's birthday, but we have Chiori right here. Um, the head canon that I have for this, like you know, Ayato's birthday, is that Chiori came all the way from Fontaine, like all the way on the request of Ayaka. So Ayaka wanted Chiori to make a special robe for Ayato, and you know, since it's Ayaka and Chiori, and they have a the lady of the clan. have a bond, basically, you know, they've been they know each other from childhood, so just come over here. The cheery comes specially and she's pissed i mean obviously she she's cheery so obviously she's just pissed and every guard every soldier is looking at her so awkwardly because you know she was that brat who talked back to them when she was young but who cares she's here for ayato she's here for ayaka specifically to make a rope for ayato and since it involves clothes she's here now Ayato is somewhere we have no idea where he is only Thoma knows but yeah I don't know what Thoma and Ayato are doing so Chiori slowly walks up you know she, she's just mesmerized with all this with the nostalgia like you know the Kamisato estate and all it's been quite some time since, she, since she's come to like Inazuma also on a side note Ayato is one of the hottest male characters in the game. Like you know, alongside I'll hate them and Jong Li and you get you get the point. Ayato is pretty elegant. He's amazing. Really love his kid. Sadly, I could never pull for him because I don't know, he's just not he just runs at the worst possible time. So alright. Uh Chiori enters the room and she calls out to Ayaka. And she doesn't care whether Ayaka answers or not. She's just like she's so authoritative, like I'm here. So you gotta attend me and we're gonna get down to business. So she just says that and heads over the table for some tea. Because you know, in, in a Zoom, like, you, can't, you can't have a meeting without tea. You need to have that, you know, that that normal water, flavored water taste. <laughs> Alright, Ayaka listens to that. Ayaka checks on the cloth material, cloth material that she has, and then she proceeds to, you know, greet Chiori, invite her over, you know, for for a talk, for some sweets, and then basically wait for Ayato. Still again, these two friends um, reunite. Now, Toma is in a, in a Zuma city eating dumplings because you know Ayato is busy somewhere in in a Zuma city doing something, God knows what. But yeah, he's going. He's in for it. Now back at home, Ayaka and Chiori have been waiting for you know a few hours, and the blade embraces now they're brandishing their swords because they want to fight Ayato when he returns. Gems. It's funny. Like if if he had PvP, it would have been so amazing. Uh, but yeah, um, happy birthday, Ayato. We're gonna end it over here. I just hope Chiori doesn't kill Ayato. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.